Mathematics is the brilliance of energy with unending possibilities of everything. So extend your imagination and don't be afraid to dream bigger. Good afternoon, respected judges, professors, and all the participants. I, Navya Agarwal, welcome you all to the celebration come talk event on this auspicious National Mathematics Day 2021. The day we celebrate since 2012 to pay homage to a well-known and legendary mathematician, Srinivasa Ramanujan on his birth anniversary. So first of all, let me introduce our chairperson, sir, and judges to you. Our chairperson, sir, Professor Dinesh Kumar Khurana, and our judges are Professor Vanita Verma and Professor Savita Bhatnagar from Punjab University, Chandigarh. Now, I would request Professor Dinesh Kumar Khurana to say a few words regarding the event. Yes, yes. I, I just want to say happy Mathematics Day to all and uh, thanks to all the organizers, to judges, Professor Savita Bhatnagar, Professor Vanita Verma, and for all the uh, competitors of today's event, oral presentation, thanks to all of you and thanks all, also to the persons present in this evening. Right, thanks. Now we are take it forward from here. Can we start judges? Yes. Yes, yes. Yes, you can start. Okay, now we have next candidate Bhavya Gupta with a topic constructible numbers. May I present now? Yes, yes, go ahead. Is it visible? Yes. A very good afternoon to all of you. I'm Bhavya Gupta and I'm here to present on the topic Constructible Numbers, Connection of Classical Geometry, Abstract Algebra. What will we discuss today is three problems of antiquity, constructible numbers, ruler and compass construction, classical geometry, and how field theory is used. Three problems of antiquity. Roughly 2000 years ago, the ancient, the ancient Greeks wondered if it is possible to square the circle, double the cube, trisect and angle. Let's see what are these problems. First is square the circle. What is square the circle? Construct a square with the exact same area as an arbitrary circle. For example, if the radius is r, pi r square should be equal to the area of this square if its side is of length a. Second problem, double the cube. To construct a cube with exactly twice the volume of an arbitrary cube. The meaning of construct, I will explain in a short while. Here is a special, special construction which is required. So volume is twice the volume. If we take it along the, try to do it along the face diagonal, its length is two root two, and hence the volume will become two root two V which is way more than 2v. So maybe it's possible that it is not possible using that special construction called ruler and compass construction. Third problem is trisect an angle. That is split a given angle into three equal angles. For example, 60 degree into 20 degree each. Classical geometry. What is constructible number? A number C is constructible if it is possible to construct a line segment of length C using only a compass and a straight edge. Here, what the construct meaning comes to us, that is rules of our game. Bad news is we are only given a terrible compass and world's worst ruler. Why worst? Because first it is unmarked. There are no markings on it. It is of infinite length and it has only one edge. 
this is the meaning of ruler and compass construction in terms of geometry good news is we are the best artist ever we are infinitely precise have a perfect memory and all the time in the world what fascinated greeks is that they didn't know how to solve those problems using rc construction other ways by which they knew was compass and straight edge with two marks unmarked straight edge and spiral now we will shift from geometry to algebra just for a connection let p not be a subset of r square having at least two points with integer coordinates we say a point in r square is constructible at one step from p not if it is intersection of two lines of p not intersection of two circles intersection of a line and a circle a line of p not we mean line joining two points of p not a circle of p not circle of center from p not and passing through a point of p not these are basic equations of line and circle now recall algebra of constructible numbers how to add subtract for adding just construct b at the end of a by this we can add a plus b similarly for subtraction just construct b in the opposite direction of a now is ab constructible yes why we will use intercept theorem by this diagram where de is parallel to bc ad proportional to ab ratio is equal to a ratio ac so by using this one is constructible b is constructible a is constructible we can draw parallel line to a join it using intercept theorem we will get to know a by ab is equal to ec by bd bd take it as x which will come out to be ab and hence ab is constructible in similar lines we can show a slash b is constructible using ab it is also known as ab inverse in terms of algebra similar concept intercept theorem is used here to square root of any constructible number is also constructible we will use geometric mean theorem in this i will not go into the details of geometric mean theorem it just states that if this is such a diagram in right uh, right hand dead triangle h square is equal to pq in on similar lines here h is equal to p into q1 p was constructible as it is given and hence h is equal to root p which is also constructible how this problem was resolved these problems vexed mathematicians for over 2000 years resolution of these perplexities was made possible when they were transformed from questions of geometry to questions of algebra what is in c cb is the set of constructible numbers c is sub, uh, q is subset of c so far c contains all the integers finite iteration some products facts which we should know from field theory is these three facts are needed back to the problems of antiquity task a squaring a circle we can certainly construct a circle of radius 1 and as we know radius 1 circles area is pi r square that is pi and a circle square with area pi would have the side of length root pi as we know pi is transcendental and back i have told that c is a subset of algebraic numbers and transcendental numbers are those which are not algebraic so it is not constructible squaring an n arbitrary circle is impossible any arbitrary circle as per the nand lindemann proved that pi is transcendental in 1882 task b doubling a cube we can certainly construct a cube with sides of length 1 y1 1 is a rational number and rational is a subset of our c set of constructible numbers if we double the cube it would have the volume 2 and sides obviously 2 1 by 
minimal polynomial of 2 1 by 3 has degree 3 why because x cube minus 2 is satisfied over rationals we have to see it and it has no rational root so its degree is 3 and by fact 3 we know that minimal polynomial should be of degree of power 2 so this is also not constructible hence doubling an arbitrary cube is impossible in 1837 Wansel proved that it is not possible to double the cube task c Dissecting an arbitrary angle. Bhavya, you have already taken more than 8 minutes. It was gi given that 8 to 10 minutes. I will take complete 10 minutes. No, uh, your presentation duration is 8 minutes, Vita. 8 plus And two. yeah, it is more two, than 10 two already. Minutes. 2 minutes are for questions. <laughs> Try to wind. Yeah. It's last slide. Yeah, yeah, sure. Trisecting an arbitrary angle. We all know how to construct 60 degree. If we could trisect constructible angles, we would be able to construct 20 degree. So when we use this equation and put x is equal to 2 cos 20 degrees, this equation we will get, which has no rational root and its minimal polynomial has degree 3, same uh, rule. Hence, it is not constructible. Conclusion, it is impossible to square an arbitrary circle, double an arbitrary cube, trisect an arbitrary angle using ruler and compass construction. Thank you. Okay, that was a nice presentation, Bhavya. Although there was a lot to uh, for you to communicate and you tried to communicate it very well, taking oh. care of the time limit. Any questions? Any questions? I think there are no questions. <laughs> Thank you, ma'am. Good presentation, good effort, Peter. Well done. Thank you. May I stop presenting? Then? Yeah, yeah, you can stop. engrossing presentation by Bhavya Gupta. Thanks now. a lot. So I guess uh, time to announce uh, winners of today's uh, poster and oral presentations. Right. So poster presentation winner is uh, Dipali Sharma. Uh, title of her poster was Maths Zero to Hero. Right. Okay. And uh, there are uh, there were three prizes for oral presentations today, uh, but uh, there are four winners. There is a tie on fourth position, so we'll either try to give both of those three persons equal prize, or if uh, we are not able to do that, we will divide the uh, prize money into two and give them both half the sum. Right. So I, let me announce the winners. So Bhavya uh, is uh, winner of first prize today. Thank you, sir. Right. Okay. So uh, thanks, thanks everyone. So uh, it's time to conclude. Unless uh, someone wants to say something, I thank all the organizers, particularly Narendra Singh and all other research scholars, and. Uh, uh, I will be failing in my duty if I don't thank uh, Surinder Pal Singh. Professor Surinder Pal Singh, uh, he wrote the proposal and it was all his idea. But thanks uh, to all the oral presenters, there were about 15 of them, and then there were about 20 poster presentations. Thanks to all of them. The winning prize is not important. Contribution is important. Participation is important. So thanks to all and thanks to you. You can see that there are still 14 people present at the end also. So that shows that the event was successful. So we'll try to do such events in future also. Thanks. Thanks all. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir.